25 years ago in Manchester in the mid 80s, a group of techie, what is now called hacktivists, I, I actually quite like the term, but basically grassroots activists who were building modems in shoeboxes. And they were connecting them with computers that ran so slowly, pre-Windows, pre-internet obviously, where if you wanted to read email, you had to type R-E-A-D space M-A-I-L return, and you had to watch it come up. But those group of activists were around at a time when the city was really looking for its future direction. And we knew about the internet, because people in academia had the internet, even though it was a product of, uh, as they say in the trade, the American, American uh, military industrial complex, because the internet was invented so that if there's a nuclear war, you'd have lots of di distributed computers which could go on operating. But nevertheless, by the 80s, people began to understood this, understand this. And even though people told us there'd be no commercial applications for the internet, this is 88, for at least 10 years, we didn't believe them. And, and cable television came to Manchester, and we asked Tony to chair a meeting. Because you know, he was from television, we were sort of geeky kind of activists, but the city had got behind this and thought that this was going to be a good idea. And these people came, it was a company called Cablevision, which then became uh, 9X and everything else. And they said, we're going to bring this great new technology called cable. And Tony said, well, it works two ways, doesn't it? I say, well, it does in theory. So couldn't people who are connected with it do things? Oh, no, 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 this is a distribution mechanism. You just be, you'll be able to watch 15 TV channels through this. And Tony goes, but doesn't that mean that you could have 50 15 channels going backwards. And they're going, yeah, of course, in principle. But no. So he started to think, and I, over the next 10 years, every time I saw Tony, he said, Tony, Dave, do you remember the Industrial Revolution? He said, well, not personally, Tony, I'm only the same age as you, but um, what they did is they had everything coming in. They had the canals, they had roads, they had railways, and every factory had its own railway. We could do that with, with cable, couldn't we? I said, well, fibre, actually, we could try it. Uh, but we couldn't, because actually, in Britain, it was illegal to do that. If you were BT or then Mercury, you know, you could do it. But there was no idea that somebody setting up a business could own part of the internet. Whereas in America, when it started, and actually right the way through this period in Scandinavia, people could own part of the internet. You go in a place and say, I've actually scraped enough money together to buy a server and buy, buy some fiber and connect it up. But in this country for reasons I won't go into now, it's really difficult to do that. And all the way through, Tony was absolutely adamant that he wanted to find some way, which in this sense has become somewhere, where you could own part of the internet. You could have your own part of the internet. You could have un unlimited connectivity. And I think what we try to do with Sharp is make that reality, because along the Metrolink line here, we will have our own fibre going down and connecting up the network in, in Oxford Road into the Science Park. So technically, anyone who's here can operate in real time as if they were in New York or Tokyo or Liverpool or Southport or, or wherever. And I, I just think that realization of that vision, I say, which is a bit of Tony's kind of commitment to this city, which, you know, why would people know about that? Because they know about music, they know about sense of place, but maybe not. He, he really was a digital visionary. And quite frankly, without his support and without that legacy, I'm not sure the little coalition would have come together in the same way as it did to build this. I just want to kind of make that reference in terms of why we're doing what we're doing. 